We've shown a lot about our Lacoris or Sprite Lily collection, and a lot of people have asked, how do we propagate this? Well, generally we do that by the bulbs and dividing those, but we can also do that from seed. Now, the great thing about Lycoris, or bad thing, depending on how you look at it, is they don't always come true from seed. It depends on what else you've got nearby. So this Lycoris, this is Lycoris spring, or this is the one with the beautiful pink and, and blue flowers. This is just fly, finished flowering probably about four weeks ago. So it takes the seed about four weeks to begin to mature. And the interesting thing about Lycoris is the seed are ripe before the pods tell you they're ripe. So what we're looking for in a pod, you see the difference in colors? This is still sort of green. This is already starting to change to more of a yellowish brown. All of those are actually ready. So we can go ahead and harvest those. Now, if it's very green, what I like to do is gather a lot of uh, stem, and then I will just take the stems, turn them down in a pot. I happen to know, because that's already started to change, that these are ready, so let's just open them up and show you what's inside. And so we open them up, and they're very shiny and very black, very hard seed, and those are ready. So once they're ready like that, we go ahead and sow them like chorus. Anything in the amaryllid family likes to be sown very fresh. You don't want to store these. Don't set them on your shelf. They're not going to be any good. You need to go ahead and get them sown just as quick as you possibly can. So we'll take these and, uh, and, and take these to a pot and show them very soon. But let's go ahead and gather all the seed. Again, if, like I say, if the pods are green, I get a little stem, and that stem will help send energy down to the pods. Uh, this one I know is not necessary. This one will go ahead and gather some, some stems. And if you want to know before you gather them, if they're ready, feel the, the pods. And you can feel if there's something in there. A lot of times with Lycoris, you'll have what we call false pregnancies. So they, they miscarry. They form the pods, but there's nothing actually in them. You can take the pods and press them, and there's absolutely nothing there. And unless you've got something solid, you probably don't have a seed. And so you're typically going to find your best seed on the species uh, themselves and a few of the hybrids. Really, like course, rosy is the best of the hybrids. Most of the rest of the hybrids are fairly sterile. You just don't see a lot of seed on those. If you have bees in the area, they can cross, so you can get some really interesting things. And once we sow these, it's going to take us four to seven years to see a flower. So it's not going to come quickly. So those that get to be my age, uh, you know, we don't know if we're going to live long enough to see these. We'd like to think so. So let's finish getting the rest of these, and we'll take down and go down and get some soil and get these potted. And there's, let's see how the green these are. That's much, much, they're just not ready yet. So I'm going to get a lot of stem on those. And the greener they are, the more stem you want to get to keep feeding that energy down there. But Lycoris, not all plants you can harvest that early, but Lycoris and most of the things in the amaryllis, they'll just continue to ripen for you. Okay, so we've got our Lycoris seed ready to go. So we've got our potting mix put in here. You want to use a well-drained uh, potting mix. Whatever Potting mix is really dependent on wa your watering regimen. It's not one mix is better than the other. It's all based on how you water. So a mix that might work for one person might be terrible for somebody else because you may have one person that underwaters and one that overwaters. So what we want to do is fill it full and we'll tap it down so that we get the, air, the you know, not all the air out. You don't want to push it down, but you want to have it so that when you water it, you still have soil at the right level. And then we want to uh, put our seed in. Oops, and let's see here. And so we're going to sprinkle these around. We don't want to put too many in one pot because if we do, they choke each other out. They get too close. So we want to get them scattered around through there. So we're going to put about 15 to 20 seed in there. And then we cover them. It's like horse, you want to just cover. So we're going, to, we're going to give it a nice cover. Now the other option, if it's something that takes a long time, or if you tend to overwater, then you may want to use a grit on top of this. And we've got some grit, and what that does, just if you have trouble with liverworts, liverworts are a sign of overwatering, and that's sort of a green carpet that you get that just, they multiply like crazy. 
and they will choke out and actually kill your new plants. So we're going to put grit if you think there's any chance you're overwatering. If you're not going to overwater, you don't need the grit. And then we want to label. So you want the name of the plant. In this case, this was Lycoris springeri. It came from a cultivar. So this is a clone called Pink Floyd. So that is written in single quotes. It tells that. But it's not the clone because we grew it from seed. So at the end, you write EX. And that is the uh, convention that says this is seed off the clone, but not the clone itself. A lot of people get frustrated because they try to buy a plant from a nursery and they get it and it's the wrong plant completely. And that's because somebody has grown a clone from a seed without indicating that it was from a seed. So clones have to be done vegetatively. So it's really, really important. And also I put the date on the back. That's another very important thing. Because if not, you may be looking at that pot a month from now. You may be looking at it a year from now and say, I wonder when I planted that. Is that still worth keeping? So Lycoris should be up within six months. If they're not, you can throw the pot away. So without putting that date on there, you don't have a frame of reference because you're not going to remember when you actually sowed it. Uh, so there we go. We put that in, we water it, and now we wait. You can do Lycoris uh, inside uh, in a greenhouse. You can do it in a cold frame. You can do it under grow trays. Any of those are fine. If you do it outside and they germinate in the winter, because that's when Lycoris leaves grow, you're not going to want to leave it out in a pot over winter. That's going to die. So you, you've got to either put it in a cold frame that's down below ground where you can get ground heat or grow it inside to be able to have success if you have a cold winter temperatures. And then once those leaves come up, I like to let them grow for an entire season. Once they start going dormant, then I put them in the ground because they're much easier to take care of and the plant's going to be much happier in the ground. While you can grow them outside, they do not require stratification, which means a cold period followed by a warm period. They will come up fine in a greenhouse having never got any winter chill. We wish you good luck.